uh, hello or good morning for myself uh, I'm in my in my village where I grew up as you see yeah epic sunset sunrise <laughs> didn't woke up early <laughs> early enough so now I'm almost finished my running at 6.30 in the morning till till 6.30 I was you know, meditating brushing my teeth doing this usual morning routine stuff and I uh, wanted to say that the 9 to 5 if I didn't have a 9 to 5 it will not be enough of a motivation for me to do this thing that I'm doing exactly at this moment because I will not see the point now I see huge returns like I wake up early I do my uh, do my writing do my editing do my side hustle and then I can start to work and it's more motivating it's more relaxing because you know you're doing little steps day by day and eventually you will move up maybe not this year maybe not next year but sooner or later you will see me succeed <laughs> so to continue this video uh, yeah many people actually complain about having a 9 to 5 and I'm still doing it myself but every time I reminding myself of my goals of my vision and what I can actually learn from it you know how can I use my 9 to 5 skill set I get in there and transition it to my side hustle which in the future will help me a lot or actually in the present moment so a huge thing that uh, my 9 to 5 job is teaching me is remaining consistent so I told I mean in my previous video when I was telling I'm tired of 9 to 5 and I don't have the time to be productive and uh, do the things I really want uh, now I see I have to really simplify the things yet to be consistent for example let me work one hour a day on my side hustle doing something really simple but doing it consistently will get me ahead over time will get me success over time one video on YouTube a week posting regularly on social media like I decided from today on to post three tweets on my Twitter account you can find the link below and uh, on the weekends to work on the projects from the clients from the friends that uh, they requested me to do uh, you can actually check this reel I will post soon but I can show you now the <laughs> trailer of it yeah uh, yeah it's same as writing a book you know you dedicate yourself to write one page a day and eventually you will finish your book you know like one year has 365 days so you can write 365 pages you know if you want to actually while i talk i am giving you a tour <laughs> from my ho uh, house in the in the village came to visit my parents actually another thing that i mean for me i'm not sure about others but working as a hardware engineer at bosch i'm in the team and this team is working on the specific project and me becoming a newbie i mean me being a newbie actually i was telling yes to the tasks i was not an expert in the tasks i cannot uh, manage to do it myself i mean alone and this kind of you know uh, creating false expectations for others and pressuring on yourself creates a lot of stress and uh, untrust from other people and this is really you know it, it really leads nowhere only to suffering and this same applies when i get uh, uh, you know requests from clients or oh, can you do this can you film, film this thing or can you make uh, videos in this way and uh, i have the tendency to say yes to avoid the conflict and then i am not managing to do it or, or i'm doing it very poorly and uh, it creates disappointment and untrust that's that's key untrust <laughs> if you lose trust it's very difficult to gain it back 
So being honest, being real with uh, with yourself and with others is is very key. And then moving to the next thing. So the thing uh, about you know our generation, you know my generation, is that I see many people are perfectionists, and I'm a huge perfectionist myself. Like I like uh, this video I'm making, I really wanted to be perfect i wanted to be at my apartment to have my sony camera on uh, going through the script uh, sentence by sentence but while being here and doing this video i decided okay let's film with my phone again so uh, making mistakes especially at my job it re i'm required actually to make mistakes because otherwise my team will not know what i'm currently struggling at and where i need help the most and by showing them my work and by getting the feedback I'm getting the help at the same time. And uh, in the past I was thinking it's too personal, like uh, it was self-attack uh, to the core when I was doing mistakes. Because, you know, I grew up in the family where my parents did not allow me to make mistakes. It Look, we're not strict parents, but we're involved. It was something that, I don't know, it was conditioned, even the school system. Like if you make mistake, you get a bad mark and it can really affect the future for the, if you're like making a lot of them, you know. So uh, it's okay to make mistakes. It's, uh, it's fine, but be aware, be uh, open-minded about it, extract the lesson and move on. This is how you progress. Uh, same uh, with my side hustle. When I send the video to the client and I get the feedback, or some criticism like, oh, they don't like this transition or they, they don't like this shot, they want to change this. In the past, I was really getting terrified by it and I was avoiding this kind of conversation at all costs. And I was stressing myself to make this video very perfect, believing or imagining what they would, uh, how they would react. So, uh, you know, relax, uh, do mistakes and learn and keep moving. You know, it's just, it's just like, it's like a circle, but it goes upward. Like you try, you fail, you try, you fail and you just go, 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 go. And in one year you will see you gained a lot of wisdom, which you can apply to the other areas of your life. And this one, I think this is huge. Move at your own pace. But the important thing is to move. It's better to move like a turtle than not moving at all. And, uh, you know, having this, you know, high speed internet and getting contact like this everywhere, every information is all available, kind of distorts our uh, perception of what is available uh, and uh, the expectancy of the time spent uh, uh, achieving it. So slow down, you know, if you do something, take your time. I'm not saying to look in the wall and not doing anything. I'm saying move at your own pace. Because if you do this, you will be present in the thing that you're doing, in anything. And the learning process will go faster. That's key. As soon as you start learning, then eventually in the future you will start to get better and you will do this thing faster. Again, when I'm editing, video editing, and I'm doing something new effects, I could really spend the whole day of creating, you know, a two second effect that even it's not noticeable <laughs> to other people. But somehow I'll learn and it made 1% better you know so that's the that's the advice i'm telling myself and i hope uh, it uh, it resonates with you actually uh, my arm starts to hurt so i get a, a better move uh, move faster so uh yeah if you wanted to see the full article of uh, this uh, theme video if you like you know a reading person you can access the link to my newsletter below and to my th uh, twitter account as well I decided to share the things I'm going through right now and I'm documenting this journey right now. So uh, I hope uh, you like it and you will get a uh, use of this uh, stuff, you know, I'm doing. So, you know, 9 to 5 job, yeah, it's not the best, but it's not bad either. It's a way to sustain yourself and while you sustain yourself, having, you know, an income you can rely to, you can give yourself some space to experiment, you know, test the waters, getting better at the skill till you become so good that people will notice it and will be ready to pay for your service. So this is how I see it at the moment, you know, keep doing my nine to five uh, in my free time, do work on my side hustle, build the audience, uh, build a deeper relationship with, with my current clients. And from there I'll get referrals and uh, bigger projects and uh, increase in prices. Uh, it will go on till something magical will happen and I will get 
same amount of money from my nine to five or even more money so i can say okay now i can really focus on this thing and i will flourish <laughs>